Leukemia patient Uzifa Anwar is in for a checkup. So how are things going? And her blood counts are looking good. Your hemoglobin is 13.5 and your hematocrit is 40.4. Those are normal. Uzifa has been in remission from acute leukemia for over a year now, thanks to CAR T-cell therapy she received at the University of Maryland Marlene and Stuart Greenebaum Comprehensive Cancer Center. I was really happy because it was really hard when I got uh, therapy because when you have any therapy, you will have side effects of that too. But when I go back to my normal life, so I was feeling really, really happy. CAR T-cell therapy involves re-engineering a patient's own immune cells, or T-cells, which normally kill other cells infected by pathogens, such as a virus or bacteria. To fight cancer, a patient's T-cells are removed and sent to a laboratory, where they are genetically engineered and reprogrammed, adding chimeric antigen receptors to their surface. These CAR receptors enable the T-cells to recognize and attack the cancer. The modified T-cells are then infused back into the patient, where they multiply by the millions, and then seek and destroy the cancer cells. T-cell immunotherapy has led to remarkable stories of long-term remission from blood cancers, including leukemia, lymphoma, and myeloma, and it's showing great promise in other cancers as well. A leader in cancer cell immunology, Dr. Aaron Rappaport has collaborated closely with Dr. Carl June of the University of Pennsylvania, who pioneered the development of CAR T-cell therapy. One of their clinical trials saved Martin Melly, a patient of Dr. Rappaport's who was stricken with myeloma after the birth of his grandson. I just wanted to be around long enough for him to know who I was. Um, He's got his learner's permit now <laughs> at 17. I'm really thankful for that because, like I said, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Now more patients like Martin will be saved, thanks to the new Fanny Angelos Cellular Therapeutics Laboratory, made possible by a $1 million gift from Orioles owner Peter Angelos and donations by Neil Kister and the family of Hamish and Christine Osborne. Meeting federal standards, the laboratory is a clean room designed to eliminate contaminating airborne particles during cell processing. This facility will enable us to, to make uh, vaccines for patients with cancer and sell products for patients with cancer here. But in addition, this will also help us to develop the next generation of vaccine and cell therapies. Really, the sky's the limit. My research team and I have developed what we consider the next generation CAR platform. Uh, it endows immune cells the ability to recognize just about any type of cancer versus the current CAR generation, which can typically uh, target one cancer at a time. The lab will also develop breakthroughs in other types of cellular therapeutics. Making stem cells from babies with congenital heart disease and giving these cardiac stem cells to babies to regenerate their failing hearts. We hope to extend this therapy to bigger children and to adults in the future using this new lab. The lab puts the University of Maryland School of Medicine on the forefront of immunotherapy research and treatment. There's no question that immunotherapy is the most important advance in cancer treatment since I've been in the field. And so for me as an oncologist, it's an incredibly exciting time. No one is more thankful than Sue Marcheski, an 18-year leukemia survivor who is alive today because of T-cell and stem cell therapy. This is the sign I found, never, never give up. I found right after I had my um, transplant. Sometimes you get down, but never, never give up. Marcheski credits Dr. Rappaport and Dr. June with saving her life through immunotherapy. I've got three children and I, I always wanted them, I wanted to see them healthy and since then I've gotten to see seven grandchildren and we have two more on the way and it's, you know, I never would have had those things um, if it weren't for them. It's just a blessing.